Okay, so here's the kit. Here's the situation. We're still with dealing with percentiles, and we've got one more video to go. It might be a short one. We'll let's see what happens. All right, my pencil. Let's go with what we're talking about over here, which is percentiles continued. All right, we called it the fancy way of putting it is measures of position. I'm just going to write percentiles continued here. And what uh, the case, here's the here's problem number was real number three. We did two in the first video. Here's now about percentile. Here's this, here's the third. Here's the case. Student A, it's easier to just call them by letters. A ranked 51st out of 1700 students when the, when the high school uh, graduated, whatever it was, out of 1700 students. That's student A. Student B ranked uh, not 51st, but 27th out of a smaller student body, 540 students. Now you want to really be able to compare them because 27 looks like it's better than 51, but there's a lot more students in 1700. All right, so here's a way of comparing them using percentiles. Here's what we can do. Let's check out student A. Student A was 51st. That means there were 1700 minus 51, which is equal to 1649, right? 1649 below student A, right? If he was 51st, so those, he was 51st, so the 1649 were below student A. Let's, let's call them, let's give a little circle around A and a little circle around B, that's what they, what's that they're called? Below A. Okay. So now, how many students were there in all of A's high school? There were 1,700. So take 1,649 and divide it by 1,700 and you get 0.97, which translated into percent, turn it, move it two places to the right, is net 97%. So he was in the 97 percentile rank. That's what his percentile rank was, 97%. There was 97% of the students were below him. Okay, that is, oh, this is our scrap paper. And this is the information about student A. What about the information about student B? Let's check his, check his percentile, B. All right, how many people were below him? Take, there was a total of 540. He was 27th. 540 minus 27 is 513 below him. Then we take the 513 below him and divide it by the total amount of students, which is 540. Okay, what is that equal to? That's 0.95 decimal, which turns into 95%. So he was lower than student A. Student B was actually lower than student A. It was a 95%. There's 95% no, there's of the class was lower than him. But student A is 97% of the class was lower than him. So even though student A was 51st in his class, he had a better percentile ranking of people, that many people below him, than student B who was 27th in his class and only had 95% of the students below him. So that's how percentile, percentile can be used to compare the two situations. All right, so this is a short video, and it's the last one, at least for the moment, about percentile. We might have to do more uh, in, in the future, but that's it for the moment. Um, okay.